The Pearson symbol, or Pearson notation, is used in crystallography as a means of describing a crystal structure, and was originated by W. B. Pearson. The symbol is made up of two letters followed by a number. For example, Diamond structure, CF8 Rutile structure, TP6 The two italicized letters specify the brevase lattice. The lower case letter specifies the crystal family, and the upper case letter the centering type. The number at the end of the Pearson symbol gives the number of the atoms in the unit cell. IUPAC 2005. The letters A, B and C were formerly used instead of S when the centered face cuts the x-axis, the brevase lattice is called A centered. In analogy, when the centered face cuts the Y or Z axis, we have B or C centering, respectively, the 14 possible brevase lattices are identified by the first two letters. Pearson symbol and space group The Pearson symbol does not uniquely identify the space group of a crystal structure, for example both the sodium chloride structure, space group FM 3 meters, and diamond, space group FD 3 meters, have the same Pearson symbol CF8. Confusion also arises in the rhombohedral lattice which is alternatively described in a centered hexagonal, A equals B, C, alpha equals beta equals 90, Gamma equals 120, or primitive rhombohedral, A equals B equals C, alpha equals beta equals gamma, setting. The more commonly used hexagonal setting has three translation equivalent points per unit cell. The Pearson symbol refers to the hexagonal setting in its letter code, hour, but the following figure gives the number of translation equivalent points in the primitive rhombohedral setting. Examples, hour 1 and hour 2 are used to designate the HG and BI structure, respectively. Caution The Pearson symbol should only be used to designate simple structures elements, some binary compound, where the number of atoms per unit cell equals, ideally, the number of translation equivalent points. References Further reading United States Naval Research Laboratory Pearson Symbol Examples and Pictures